Skull and Bones, Ruling the Seas as a Pirate Kingpin. Skull and Bones is an upcoming action-adventure video game developed by Ubisoft Singapore and published by Ubisoft. The game is set to be released in February 2024 for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X S, Amazon Luna, and Microsoft Windows. A version for Google Stadia was planned before the services shut down. The game revolves around piracy and naval warfare with a fantastical setting during the late 17th century, the peak of the historical golden age of piracy. Hostile Takeover is a PvPV event in which you attack an outpost that has a production chain and have to take out their towers while defending yourself against enemy ships that come to the outpost's defense. Not to mention fend off other players who have come to claim the manufacturer for their own. Whoever deals the most damage to the towers will be successful, get control of the outpost's factory, and it will start making a profit for that player. Hopefully you. When my party took on a hostile takeover, we had a small fleet of ships to choose from. I picked the Brigantine, a DPS-class ship designed for high damage and a quick getaway, which I loaded up with hard-hitting cannons and missiles. My approach was simple. Use powerful long-range cannons across my bow to inflict massive damage while enemy ships sailed into the harbor. Use short-range cannons to weaken them further until I got close enough to board them or ram my bow into their broadside which is both incredibly satisfying and a great way to maximize loot you can take from the wreckage. Despite our team's best efforts, a rival player crew gained control over the manufacturer before we did. We had been so focused on the attacking ships that they were able to deal more damage to the towers and claim victory. It wasn't a total wash, however. Even if you fail a mission in Skull and Bones, there are still opportunities to take advantage of. In our case, the takeover turned into a plunder event, where the three of us faced off against waves of enemies and were rewarded with increasingly valuable loot at the end of each assault.